Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is going to be about the Vesta i7 WS. This is a workstation system. So while this may not have relevance to the gamers out there in the audience due to some of the different choices that we've made in terms of the configuration of the system, if you are a professional, whether that means photo editing, 3D rendering, or even video editing, this system could be a blessing for you if you want to get the most out of the time you spend on your machine and make for the most seamless possible working experience. Now before we open up the case to have a look at the specs inside, let's talk a little bit about the Antec P280. So this is an evolutionary step forward from the P18X series and we see a couple of big improvements. So number one is that to go with the front door, there is lots of ventilation space around the sides. Also they've removed the power and reset buttons from behind the door so you don't have to open it every time to get to them and they are now at the top of the case near the front. We still got lots of ventilation with quiet cooling with the little switches at the back that allow us to switch between low and high mode and the overall construction is as we've come to expect from Antec very high quality both inside and out. Now once we get inside we see the general spec that we've gone with for the machine is very high end but not geared for gaming. We have made some definite changes to what we would normally do for a gaming rig. So you can see here we've got an Intel 520 series SSD because boot drive performance is still going to be critical and we've got a two terabyte WD black drive for our storage. Now the WD black drive gives you great performance for your storage whether you want to use it as a scratch disk or whatever you want to do and it also has the benefit of having a five-year warranty. So your entire storage subsystem on this on this machine has a five-year warranty, whether it's the SSD or the hard drive, which is pretty cool. Uh, optical drive not included, still a one-year warranty on those. In terms of the configuration of the guts of the system itself, we've got a P9X79WS. This is a workstation board, so whether you're running NVIDIA Quadro cards, whether you're running high-end LAN cards, RAID cards, whatever kind of configuration you want, this will be validated to run with those solutions and you will not have the same kinds of hiccups that you can run into on consumer level boards. So that is a very important consideration for the professional user in addition to the extremely high standard of quality that ASUS uses for their workstation boards. These are not designed to go out of fashion anytime soon. And as you probably know with an NCIX PC, you really can configure whatever you want on our systems, whether it is, you know, a high-end RAID card and, you know, pulling out the Quadro graphics card and putting in something super low end, it's totally up to you. We've gone with 16 gigs of Kingston HyperX RAM as well as an Intel Core i7-3820. So the 3820 is a pretty good value. It allows us to hit the price point that we're going for to start with on this machine, but if you're going to be doing any serious video work or 3D rendering, you're probably going to want to throw a 6 core in there. And this board, while it is professional grade, does support overclocking. So if you grab a K-series CPU and put it in there, you might be able to get a little bit more performance out of it, especially with the included 120 millimeter Intel liquid cooling system. Now, the reason we went with the NVIDIA Quadro 600 is because it is Fermi-based, so you do get some of the benefits of the newer NVIDIA architectures. However, you can upgrade to an even higher-end Quadro by PNY card if you do have the need for it. The, oh yeah, I almost forgot. And all of this is rounded out, powered by an Antec 650 watt EarthWatts 80 plus platinum power supply. Now one of the things that a lot of the gamers in the audience are gonna say is, oh, it's only a 650 watt power supply, that's not good enough. Wrong. Even with the quad core in here, even with the quadro, the most we can pull from the wall right now is less than 300 watts. And at idle right now, we're sitting at 67 watts from the wall. So by using a more overpowered power supply, such as a 1000 watt 80 plus platinum, we would actually be reducing the overall power efficiency because the closer you can get during a typical load scenario to that 50% load sweet spot, so in this case, we'd want to be pulling about 350 watts from it, the more efficient you are going to run overall, especially at idle, because when you're using only 5% or 7% of a power supply, you don't get the best efficiency out of it.
Now we talked a lot about the efficiency in the 80 plus platinum, but it should not be understated that silence is golden. So that's the thing about this system that is golden. Haha, -ha, Linus, I see what you did there. So all of the features of the system that add up to that are the efficiency, which allows all of the fans to run very, very low RPM, which keeps them quieter. Also, all of these hard drive sleds are easily user replaceable and they use rubber grommets in order to make things quieter and to make your life easier. All of the fans are using the, we're using the stock fans that are included with the P280 in the top and the back. So there's dual 120s in the top, one 120 in the back. So this cooler is using push pull. And in the front of the case, you can actually see that in order to reduce the noise level, there is noise dampening foam here. And then we have used true quiet fans behind the easily removable filter, which helps with reliability and keeping dust out of your system in order to make sure that you have appropriate ventilation over the drives in your system, as well as maintaining that silence level. You can see the rubber grommets here that make things just that much quieter. So if you did want to even upgrade the system further from the stock configuration, I would definitely recommend these fans for all of the mounts if you feel like going that route and you want the ultimate in terms of silent work computing because the last thing you want is distracting whiny fans when you're trying to get things done. So thank you for checking out this episode about the Vesta WS i7. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos from our PC lab as well as other tips and tutorials and tricks and all kinds of good stuff like that.